Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Welcome to Video Tuesday. And so today I'm excited because I'm going to be using the new Trucking Along bundle. And so it's been sort of interesting, right? Because on January 6th, the new online exclusives became available. People were freaking out because they wanted to get the new Trucking Along bundle. And um, it, it sold out like I think within hours. And then all of a sudden, the stamp set was available again. The, uh, there's a coordinating punch. It never went unavailable, but the stamp set did. And then it was available again for a short time. And then it was unavailable. And so Stampin' Up! makes right their own stamps. So it's not something that they can't create. It's not like getting it from, you know, overseas. But Right now it's unavailable and people are freaking out because they want to get it. So um, I was able to order uh, several and for a class on July 29th, which sold out. So the class sold out and I'm hoping to do another class. But right now, till we're able to get the uh, bundle, I'm not going to schedule. So... Here nor there, I have it, and I'm making a card with it today. Okay, so it's going to make you want it even more, right? So, Trucking Along is 26 stamps, and it's a photopolymer set, and we've had truck sets before, little pickup truck sets, but this one is kind of different because it has the, uh, it has this two-step stamp, so there's two-step stamps in here, so, like the tires, you know, is a stamp. I'm going to use it all today. But anyway, so you can color it in if you want. You can two-step stamp it. You can darling stamp uh, sentiments, farm fresh. You can make Christmas cards with it. Um, so, I hope you can all get it. Um, it's really, really, it's reasonable, too. It's only $41.25 for the bundle here in the North America. So, let's make this cute card. I'm going to be using some designer series paper. Page 130 of the catalog, it's called Glorious Gingham. I thought, well, what goes better with a truck than gingham plaid? So we're going to be using that today. So let's get started, make this cute card, see how it goes. And then um, if it becomes available again, you know, try to nab it. If it doesn't, um, I don't know, <laughs> bummer. It will because they have all these punches. I think that it will become available again. So. Okay, so I am using a pecan pie as my card base. So this is five and a half by eight and a half. It's going to be our card base. I have a piece of white cardstock, and this is just under five and just under three and three fourths. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to my card. And I was going to stamp on it, but I decided it needed some white space, so I'm not going to stamp on this. I'm going to just add my designer series paper to it. Okay, so the Glorious Gingham 6x6 designer series paper has all five of these colors. It has um, blueberry bushel, it has pretty peacock, berry burst, pecan pie, and lemon lime twist. So I cut these one inch by four. And I'm just going to layer them on just random onto this piece. Okay, so I want to make sure I do this the right way. Uh, recently, I did a card upside down. So <laughs> I'm going to try to be a little more careful. Okay, so I'm going to do the very burst first. And, you know, there's both sides. I love this side, too. Let's do this side. Let's do this side. I was going to do the other side, but let's do this side. Okay, so I'm just going to start randomly putting these down. And you could, you know, do this and this, but I'm going to do them all the same. I'm going to do the little check. I'm probably going to do this one next. Whoops. Get it right, Travis. Don't put the glue on the wrong side. Got to think while I'm, while I'm assembling because uh, that can be dangerous otherwise. Uh, let's see. Do this one this way. 
and then the pretty peacock last. There we go. So isn't that cute? I mean, what a cute background. And that's why I think, you see what I mean about the white background? I think it really makes it pop. Okay, so we have that ready. This is gonna be on the inside of our card, so I'm gonna put that on the inside later. Okay, so now we get to stamp the truck. And um, as I said, it's a two-step, so we are going to stamp in blueberry bushel first. And I'm gonna stamp the outside of the truck first. So tap gently, okay? So remember, you don't need to sink the, the block into the pad. It's so cute. All right, and now we're going to stamp the inside of the truck. I'm gonna stamp it off. Ooh, see how, ooh, so, so much ink. Okay, didn't line that up perfectly, did I? Hmm, not thrilled. Hang on a second. I'm gonna do that one more time. Let's try that one more time. Try to line it up a little better. I like that better. Okay, now I'm gonna do the tires. So there's a stamp for the tires. I'm gonna stamp that in Memento Black. I'm done with this pad. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp the tires. And I like it that they're, they're together. Right? You don't have to stamp them separately. So I'm just lining up the center of the wheels. If you do that, you're going to get a perfect center. Don't overthink it. Okay, now I am going to punch that out. And so here is the punch. This is called Trucking Along Builder Punch. And like I said, you can buy the punch. But I hesitate telling you to buy the punch until you, you can get the stamp set. So, and I am just going to stand, uh, punch the truck out right now. There's all, this is like the window and this is the tires and that's the, the well, the wheel wells. Okay. But I'm just going to stand, uh, punch the truck. Okay. So I'm just going to put that on here. Punch that out. Try to keep it from going into the ink pad. Okay. Now... I am going to do one other cute little thing in, in the truck. So in the back of the truck, this is what makes the card so cute. You have little flowers, you have like little pots of plants, presents, a palm tree, a Christmas tree. So yeah, and then there, and then there's a little fence, trees. Um, and so I am going to actually stamp the Mm, the little flowers. So here's the little sunflowers that you can color in, but I'm going to color mine in with blends. But if you wanted to, you could color those in. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have a little piece of white cardstock and you're going to ask me what size that is. And it's one and a half by mm, two and seven eighths. Okay. So I am going to adhere this to my white piece. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp something in the back of my truck. And it's dangerous the way I did it because, right, if I don't get this lined up properly, mm, not going to be good. But I'm going to stamp these cute little flowers in the back of the truck. And I think I can do it. I have been playing with this a little bit today, so. All right, so I'm going to just put this right there. So now I have those cute little flowers. And as I said, there's a, there's a two-step stamp that would color in the flowers, but guess what? I have these two blends. And I'm going to be using these. They're the same as colors. So this is uh, Lemon Lime Twist and Berry Burst. This is uh, the Light Berry Burst. So I'm going to color in my flowers with the Berry Burst, just real gently. Okay, so these are probably sunflowers, but guess what? It could be any kind of flowers. And you know me and my flowers. I love me some flowers. So, 
let's just say we're going to color these in. Okay, and then I'm going to use my um, Lemon Lime Twist. I'm going to keep going with this. Do my stems, my leaves, centers. Super simple. Okay. Quick and easy. All right. Now I'm going to layer this on a piece of pecan pie, just slightly larger. Tiny, tiny edge. I don't want it to be very big. Oop. Careful, Travis. Line it up properly. Line it up properly. There you go. I sometimes get a little anxious and I stick it down before I see if it's fully straight. There we go. Okay, now we're going to put some dimensionals on the back. I'm just going to put four dimensionals on the back. And adhere this to my card. I'll move it up a little tiny bit because I'm going to put a sentiment right here. Okay. So I hope I have enough. Let's see. I'm going to use some old uh, circle punches. And these are no longer available, right, to purchase. But if you have them, don't ever get rid of your punches. Don't get rid of your punches, guys. I mean, unless you have a punch like this and you get rid of the stamp set, then, yeah, I say it's okay. Okay, so now we're going to stamp this in Berry Burst, and I'm going to say Special Delivery. And then I need a little piece of Berry Burst. Hang on a second. I did not bring my Berry Burst card stock over. How do you keep your card stock? Do you keep your card stock separate from your large pieces? I keep mine all together. So um, I keep my scraps in with my, so this is a one and th half, and this is one and a fourth. Um, hopefully they'll come back. If you don't have them, you can use dies, circle dies, or you can wait, and hopefully they'll come back. Put some dimensionals on the back. And I'm just going to stagger this right down here like that. And then I am going to put one, just one embellishment. I'm going to use Tinsel Gems 3-pack. So these colors are Misty Moonlight, Fresh Freesia, and Lost Lagoon. And there's two sizes. So I am going to use... Um, oh, that's Misty Moonlight. Oh, well, I was thinking it was Blueberry Bushel, but look, it matches. So there's our card today. Oh, I'm going to put this on the inside. Because you can't write on that brown. You can't write on that pecan pie. It's too dark. Good grief, Travis. Okay, are you laughing, Jean? Because I know you love it when I talk to myself. There we go. Okay, so that's where I would um, write. Okay, so there's our card today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you did sign up for my July 29th class, I'm excited. Um, it's going to be at 10 a.m. on July 29th. That's a Saturday. If you're interested in the a kit, okay, so I will be making kits for those of you who um, purchase the, are able to get the bundle, okay, on your own, and you just want to purchase the kit. The kit will be four cards, and they'll be $20 plus shipping if I need to mail it to you, okay? So hopefully you um, are able to get that bundle. And uh, I will see you on Friday. My name's Travis Bossler. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in St. Louis, Missouri. And I appreciate all your uh, support and uh, watching my videos. Thanks so much, and I'll see you on Friday.
拜。